Hey everybody, it's Mark, Dr. Deadwax, and it's time for another video. Uh, this is going to be after the Dig 14. As you can still hear, I'm rocking the man flu. Um, the show is once again brought to you by Honey Bee Lemon Citron Honey Lozenges. The lozenges that you can suck on and get your voice back strong enough so that you can tell your wife all about your man flu when she gets home from 14 hours of work. They're amazing things. Well, one of the reasons why I'm even sitting here doing this tonight is because I wanted to talk about um, a channel in the BC that's kind of new, but kind of not new. They've, they've been they've been doing their thing for like a year. I just kind of discovered them. It, they're called Grown Man Record Night. And uh, the host of the show is Mikey Bananas. And his co-host, um, he's got the kind of fourth doctor from Doctor Who scarf there. His name is uh, Steve Fever. And every so often they have a, another guy that comes on the show called The Boss Man. And it's uh, basically, they do this show on Re Ustream on Friday nights where they talk about records and, the, and they just have a good time doing it. And then they put up like a clip, uh, it's about an hour long, 45 minutes to an hour long each week on YouTube, usually around the middle of the week. I'm going to put the link down below. I think you should check them out. It's a totally different take on the vinyl obsession that a lot of us have. Um, but they're, they're vinyl junkies, and uh, they have a little segment called Dig of the Week, which is great. And they, unlike our, or not our, my obsession with beer, craft beer, they, uh, they're they interested in uh, soda pop, and they talk about a pop every week, and they talk about, uh, uh, like, potato chips every week. They have a chip chat section, too. So, But they show lots of really interesting records, and they talk about their digs, and they have a lot of fun, and they have a lot of laughs, and... Uh, uh, it's, I I think that you should ch click on the link below and sum them up and check out a couple episodes of their show and see if they're for you. They won't be for everyone, but they will be for a lot of us. They're a lot of fun. So I'm just going to show some records. I got two bins of stuff still to show um, that I bought just before and during the Inbox Challenge and since the beginning of the year. I know, I got two bins done in a month, and I've already bought back two more. So let's do this quick. Uh, this is the box all the time, all the time, all the time. And uh, this is an amazing album, in my opinion. This was an amazing band out of Montreal, Quebec. Uh, they have a great song called La Faire de Montier. Um, and... Uh, with all this cash. I mean, most of the songs are in English, so don't think it's a French-based Quebec band. This is really good. It's kind of, some people call it art rock. I think it's more new wave, but, you know, that was 50 cents. This is uh, Emerald City by Richie Barak and John Abercrombie. I thought this would be uh, ECM originally, but it's on uh, Pathfinder. And that was another one that was 50 cents. I found a place that I got a whole bunch of 50 cents records for, but the rest of them I'm not going to show because they're actually going to be BCLT from someone, for someone who was looking for some specific genre of music, and uh, I, I came across a, a treasure trove of it. Uh, here's a Mose Allison record. This is Mose Allison, I've Been Doing Some Thinking. And as you can see, this is a promotional, not for sale DJ copy in mono. And uh, I do believe it has the, I just have the white sleeve on it, but it is a white label promo on Atlantic. Sample copy, not for sale. And uh, this was $4.99. And here's another Mose Allison DJ copy. This is Mose Alive, reported live at the Lighthouse in Hermosa Beach, California. Again, DJ copy. Uh, promotional use only. Another nice clean copy. Um, this has the Atlantic Inner. And uh, again, this is another white label promo. And again, that was five bucks. Well, this one was a great find. Uh, I'm really looking forward to cleaning this and spinning it. 
Curtis Fuller, boss of the Soul Stream trombone. This is on Warwick Records. And, uh, you know, should be good to check out. I'm, I, I, I'm not familiar overly with Curtis Fuller. I've heard him on a couple things, and I'm not sure what the Soul Stream trombone is, but it's just five bucks as well. And this is on the Warwick. The War the Warwick label. And uh, I don't know, pretty cool. Uh, doesn't have a date on it, but I think it's probably <laughs> mid to late sixties. Here's another one, uh, Cleopatra Feeling Jazzy by Paul Gonzalez. This is an impulse. Um, uh, the new wave in jazz, feel it on impulse. Um, I believe this is mono. I believe it's A, yeah. And again, this is another white label promo. And this was another one that was five bucks. And another promo here. This is another Mose Allison. I'm not a huge Mose Allison fan, but I, I couldn't leave like really sweet, clean white label promos. This is Hello There Universe. And uh, I'm not sure if this is a WLP, but uh, I don't know. It looked like it had potential. I'm hoping I hit a sweet spot in his career. Oh yeah, this one's a white label promo as well too. So I got these like two months ago, so I don't even remember. That was five bucks as well. Uh, this is just a um, Wind and Hill, I buy these. I have friends who buy these off me for 10 bucks a piece. This is Shadow Facts, The Dreams of Children. This is one of the better uh, Wind and Hill records. That was two bucks. Um, I think I got that for like 66 cents because I bought a couple of them. And uh, I think there was a deal on Scott uh, Kasu with Eugene Friesen. Uh, this is Reunion. This is also a Wind and Hill. And. Uh, this is also a promo uh, copy. It's stamped promo. It's not a special label. And it has the Wyndham Hill insert, which is very much like my sleeves. And these are from the 80s. I think that's possibly when they first appeared on the market. Next is a band I know nothing about, but it was four bucks. And I've seen Yona show them. This is the flock. And this was a really nice clean copy. Um, I think this is just on your standard Columbia. Yeah, I think I think it's a first press on a two label Columbia, but uh, I could be wrong. It has uh, two B and uh, two C stampers, so not early in the run, but. Super clean copy. I mean, for four dollars, this thing is crisp. So, I mean, look, these lozenges aren't they amazing? My voice is coming back. Coming back so well, I think when I'm done this, I'm gonna go wake my wife up and tell her how sick I am. Uh, next is the Moody Blues. I hate the Moody Blues. I tried them recently and they didn't work for me. But this was two bucks. And the reason why I bought this was because it's one of these first uh, UK pressings that has the interesting uh, peak hole that tells you what uh, if it's stereo or mono. So the blue in there, the blue in her sleeve says that that's stereo. And the first time I ever saw that uh, Prog and Jazz Man showed a, a much more interesting record than that. But I just bought that for two bucks because it had that. Uh, here's a five dollar Bootsy Collins record. Um, Bootsy Ultra Wave. This is again, you know, this is not. I expect this to be a pretty piss poor record, and it's not in the greatest condition. But I'm just trying to buy some funk, you know. 
The brother's just trying to buy some funk. Um, next, I think this is San Francisco Psych. Uh, Cold Blood. This was four bucks. And again, this is just another super crisp copy. I swear whoever owned these never played them, never moved them once. I mean, look at this thing. It's just beautiful, crisp. And this is on the San Francisco label, which is kind of cool. So that was uh, four bucks. And I think I have two more left. Uh, this one was uh, Duran Duran, Seven and the Ragged Tiger. And it's sealed for three bucks. I was like, gotta buy that. And finally, uh, this is another super clean, <laughs> look at this, the Kinks Preservation Act one. I don't think I have anything. I don't know what this is. I mean, this could just be crap, but I don't have anything by the Kinks in my collection that isn't some sort of comp. So, um, I'm not sure how this fits pressing wise, but, uh, this is four dollars. It's on RCA. It's perfect. You know, it's super clean. In great shape. So that is a couple little digs I had in probably late November, early December. And uh, that's uh, after the dig 14. Again, check, click the link below. Check out uh, Grown Man Record Night. It's like a talk show theme based show. Um, you know, maybe you'll enjoy it. I, I like it. They're a lot of fun. They're uh, we're having a good time. And that's what this is all about. Have a great day, everybody. Keep the record spinning.